That's a lot. We listen. Joseph and I listen to a lot of podcasts. And we like a ton of them. We also like each other, and we also like writing things together. And we all of three of those things agree. And just said, I want to make a podcast, and we wanted to make something different, something more in line with where our talents were, and uh, try and make something different that nobody else was doing. We didn't want to copy anybody or replicate what people are already doing so well out there. And so. Uh, so Joseph, Joseph took that and uh, started and created the idea of Welcome to Night and wrote the pilot episode. And uh, we all we know Cecil through uh, we're mutual friends from several years back. And so Cecil is a tremendous actor. And we said, hey, can you write, read this pilot? Close your eyes. Let my words wash over you. You are safe now. Welcome to Night Vale. Local historians are protesting the removal of the shape in Grove Park that no one acknowledges or speaks about. While their protest has been hampered by the fact that none of them will acknowledge or speak about it, they did, through a system of gestures and grimaces, convey the message that whatever the shape is and whatever its effect on nearby neighborhoods, it is a Night Vale landmark and should be protected. The shape itself offered no comment, only a low moaning and gelatinous quiver. The city council would not provide any reason for the removal, but they did say that any work in Grove Park was making way for a new swing set, picnic area, and bloodstone circle, which we can all agree are good contributions to our community. The Night Vale Green Market Co-op announces today that after 15 years, they will begin selling fruits and vegetables. Green Market Board President Tristan Cortez says that recent customer surveys indicated that shoppers have grown tired of empty pickup trucks and vacant tents lining the City Hall parking lot every Saturday morning in the summer and fall. Cortez said that research indicates consumers are more likely to buy products if they are available and for sale. <laughs> and that green market and grocery shoppers tend to purchase food items. <laughs> Cortez says that the decision to sell food at the green market was a controversial one as many board members and co-op shareholders feel fruit and vegetable sales will interfere with their ongoing secretive domestic espionage operations. When reached for comment, our source within the secret police only breathed heavily into the phone while tapping an as yet uncracked code into the receiver. Michael Sandero, starting quarterback for the Night Vale Scorpions, has reportedly grown a second head. It is not currently known whether this is a result of the previously reported lightning strike or just another odd coincidence in this kid's odd life. People in the know say that the new head is looking better, smarter than the first one. And even Michael's mother has issued a statement indicating that she likes it much better than her son and that she will be changing the rankings on the public which of my children I like best board outside of her house. <laughs> Sendero could not be reached for comment. Probably, we didn't really try. <laughs> Friends, listeners, there's a real tarantula problem here in Night Vale. Many residents have called in to report that illiteracy unwanted pregnancy and violent crime are on the rise in the tarantula communities. Animal Control is addressing these concerns through after-school programs called Teach a Spider to Read, Stop the Madness. Those interested in volunteering should stand in their bathtubs and weep until it is all gone. 
nothing left. You can let go now. Let go. Shh. Let go. And now a message from our sponsor, uh, intern Leland, who is our first sponsor for today's show. It's stamps.com. <laughs> Tired of waiting in line at the post office? Scared of the unexplained blood that pours from P.O. boxes? Confused by screams that no one else hears? Try stamps.com. <laughs> With stamps.com, you can print your own postage and avoid the long lines and predatory birds so common at the post office. You can even have your postal carrier pick up your packages, as long as you're careful never to look the carrier in the eyes, as this is a sign of aggression and you may scare your postal carrier away. Stamps.com has a special offer for Night Vale Community Radio listeners. Sign up now and receive a bag full of magic rocks, $50 worth of self-loathing, and a free scale, so you can arbitrarily assign numbers to material objects. To claim your new member benefits, simply visit Stamps.com and press your forehead against the radio mic in the upper right corner of your screen until your entire body falls forward into the alternate Stamps.com universe. <laughs> Stamps.com will tell your family you loved them very much. Stamps.com will tell your family that Stamps.com loves them very much. Come here, family. You are all our family now, Stamps.com will say stretching their many boneless arms around your terrified family. Come here. We are all a loving family. Stamps.com. You live in a dead world. We love you. <laughs> 